Happy 2020, everybody. I'm Amanda Patterson, and I am excited to be live with you today. And I'm going to be talking about our 2020 New Year's resolution. So I'll give you a little secret. Don't really love New Year's resolutions. That's not really what I do for myself and for my business, but what I do is set goals. So we're just going to reframe that, and we're going to talk about our 2020 goals. So one thing a lot of people do in their private practice is they want to talk about ways to increase revenue. And there's been a lot of videos, a lot of videos by other people on ways to increase revenue. But one thing that is really important, and the question today is, how do I control my expenses? So it's really great to increase your revenue, increase your revenue, get more money, get more people through the door, increase your rates, you know, add new services and bring in more income. But as the famous line goes, more money, more problems. And the thing about that is the more money that you bring in, there tends to be more expenses. Okay. So you want to make sure that while you are increasing your revenue, that you're not also increasing your expenses to where you're bleeding out of your company. So we're going to talk about a couple of things that you can do in order to make sure that you are not just running into a situation where your company is bleeding money. So the first thing that you want to do is that you want to make sure that you're tracking your expenses. There's a couple of ways that you can go ahead and track expenses. One of the ways that is very common, especially when you're beginning, is to put them in Excel sheets. If you're not already using Excel sheets or Google sheets, you want to make sure to go ahead and start tracking all of your expenses there. I used to do Google Sheets or in Excel Sheets. The problem with that is that if the IRS ever comes knocking on your door, they don't care about your Excel Sheets. They are going to want to see something like QuickBooks. So if you are looking to, uh, you know, upgrade to something, I would say look at QuickBooks. You can do that. It's really easy to track all of your income, all of your expenses through there. And they give you nice reports every single month. So you can compare month to month. You can compare for the year. And so I highly recommend that you use QuickBooks for that. And take a look at where you're spending your money. And then you can see where those bleeds are happening, where you're spending money, where you shouldn't be spending money, or that just doesn't serve your business. So once you do that, take a look at where that where that money is going that you don't want and set some boundaries with yourself, right? We teach our clients to set boundaries with other people. We need to set boundaries within our companies. So I know, uh, you know, food tends to be something that can quickly, you know, bleed our our businesses. I know a lot of the times I'm like, hey, you know, there's five of us here who wants lunch and while that sometimes makes sense. Sometimes it might not make sense, especially if you do set a budget every month for food, maybe for people within the office, make sure that you are following that budget and not going outside of that. Or my favorite one is Amazon. Who needs something from Amazon? What do we need for the office? And then I end up spending much more than I want to spend. So a trick that you can use in order to manage your supply is to create a list of all of the supplies that you need. We have a list that stays up in our supply closet and every time we need something, we just mark it off. And then every other week I go in there, check the supplies and we order whatever is on that list so that it's not just like random, like, hey, we need this, we need this, we need this, we need this. And all of a sudden, add to cart, add to cart, add to cart, add to cart. And now it's much more than I had budgeted for. And so making sure, again, that's something that tracking, tracking your supplies. How often are you going through ink? I know so many private practice owners lament about the cost of ink. I do recommend having, you know, a, a paperless practice. However, you know, there's just things that you need to print, whether they're, you know, uh, inventories or paperwork or, you know, just certain things. I get it. We need to print things out. So I want to thank our sponsor, Therapy Notes. If you are looking this year, 2020, one of your goals is to transition from paper to electronic. You definitely want to take a look at Therapy Notes. You can do everything online, have your clients sign their paperwork, do your notes, do your billing, and you never have to touch any paper or pen or anything like that. You can go fully electronic. So I highly recommend taking a look at Therapy Notes for your electronic health record needs. So moving back to controlling expenses for your business. So a couple other things that you can do to control expenses in your business is also look at what is your admin uh, doing, right? How much time are they using? Are you paying them by hour? Are you paying them by project? That's a really common thing for people to do in private practices to pay by project versus just paying somebody like a salary to do something. So like your social media manager 
or somebody to manage your social media, you're not re really necessarily going to need them to work a 40 hour week probably. And so you can pay them a stipend every single month. A couple other things that you can do to control expenses is ask for discounts for some of the products that you use. If you've been a customer with a particular company for a long time, you can ask for discounts on things or see if they have some kind of affiliate program to where if you refer people to them, you can get paid. So while you're not necessarily cutting expenses, it's a win-win because they get more clients and then you get you know, some money there. And so when we're looking at 2020, I would say this is going to need to be the year of tracking and really monitoring what goes in and out for your business and to plan for the things. So things like trainings are costly. You're probably not going to be able to get discounts on those, though. I would say sign up early. A lot of people give early bird discounts for trainings. And so making sure you're taking advantage of whatever discounts that are out there for things like training so that you're not paying the full cost and that you're planning for those things. Maybe you put to aside a an account if you follow like a profit first model, maybe you have an account for trainings, things that are a little bit more costly. So then that's not hitting your bottom line the month that you're doing that training. So let's work together in 2020 to both increase revenue and decrease expenses where appropriate and have a very prosperous new year. Thanks everybody. I'm here every Tuesday and Thursday in my private practice collective, the Facebook community for private practice owners who are looking to connect. Thank you.